is an impressive device with a surprisingly good projector, but we found one major stumbling block with the Voga V, and you should hold off any purchase until Ragen Tech solves the issue. Once upon a time, Samsung unveiled a phone with a unique characteristic, it had a built-in projector. Back in 2012, the Samsung Galaxy Beam thrilled us with this innovative feature. That said, both the Beam and its follow-up, the Beam 2, proved to be commercial failures as Samsung can the idea. Fast forward to 2018 and in the increasingly competitive world of smartphone manufacturers, a little-known Chinese vendor, Ragen Tech, has decided to resurrect the idea in the form of the Voga V, with the scanning engine for the projector display, the Pico P, coming from Microvision. Fast forward to 2018 and in the increasingly competitive world of smartphone manufacturers, a little known Chinese vendor, Ragen Tech, has decided to resurrect the idea in the form of the Voga V with the scanning engine for the projector display, the Pico P, coming from Microvision. That said, the Voga V never felt uncomfortable to use, as its full metal body is designed in such a way to make holding it feel, well, natural, and it looks premium rather than plastic, with a metallic blue finish and beveled edges, plus a 2.5D in cell display. The projector is located at the top of the device, with a micro USB port, headphone socket, and the speaker located at the bottom. On either side, there are two volume buttons and the on switch, and a SIM tray that can house two SIM cards plus one micro SD card, though not simultaneously. Dot flip the phone over to uncover the rear camera sensor, and flash, a fingerprint reader plus the Voga logo. There's also a reference to the International Champions Cup, a friendly pre-season soccer tournament that has both Manchester Football Clubs and FC Barcelona as participating teams, and is sponsored by Rage and Tech. The Voga V uses a MEMS laser projector, there's no DLP technology here, capable of delivering a 5000 colon 1 contrast ratio, or so it claims on the spec sheet, and comes with a customized UI that runs on top of Android 7.0. The hardware used by the smartphone is what you'd expect to find on a top-end 2016-2017 flagship model. The combination of an octa-core chip, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage should be powerful enough to keep this handset relevant for some time going forward. A couple of notes on the components. One downside is that there's no 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, which is a disappointment for a device of this price level, adding this would have cost pennies. Its absence means that the phone may struggle when streaming high-resolution content. Ragen Tech claims that the 4,000 mAh battery can power the projector for at least 4 hours, 